peer to pool features are coming to AADA Finance, which is a DeFi protocol being built on Cardano with the recent adoption of Icon Smart Contracts. What is going on, Cardano community? Welcome back to the official DAP Central YouTube channel. I'm your host here, Fareed, and as a part of today's video, I want to highlight some breaking news surrounding the upgrades coming to AADA Finance and a partnership when it comes to using Icon smart contracts. Now, before we jump into that, if it's your guys' first time stopping by the channel, my goal here is to provide you guys in the community with the latest news, tutorials, and reviews. I'm also a single stake pool operator, and if you guys want to support me on my mission to educate the broader Cardano community, then consider delegating with stake pool ticker DAPP. That said, let's jump straight into today's article, breaking down the adoption of Icon smart contracts and the fact that peer to pool lending will be coming to AADA Finance. So without any further ado, if you guys are not already following AADA Finance on Medium, then I highly recommend that you go ahead and do so. As it states here, AADA Finance to leverage Icon for V2 mainnet launch. Now, if you guys are not familiar with AADA Finance right now, they're going to be a lending and borrowing protocol built on Cardano, supporting P2P or peer-to-peer -peer loans right now. So for example, if you guys think of Lending Pond or even Fluid Tokens, those are also going to be peer-to-peer -peer platforms where if you want to borrow an asset, um, you basically have to put up collateral, which has to be accepted by another peer or by another party on the other end. That said, they're going to be moving towards peer to pool model, which will be more like meld or more like um, liquid finance. So in those options, you don't have to actually wait for a third party on the other side. As soon as you want to actually create a loan or take out a loan, you can do so using liquidity in a pool that has been set aside already. So now that we understand a little bit more about what they're going to be building, let's break down some of these key sections that I've already highlighted. And then we're going to wrap up and get my conclusion here at the end of this video. So it reads here, AADA Finance has played an integral part in decentralized finance or DeFi on the Cardano blockchain since September of 2022. Now, I want to quickly add here that I believe they were one of the first DeFi protocols to actually launch on Cardano, again, with the P2P model. We've recently seen Liquid launch at the end of January or at the very beginning of February, and we're actually awaiting Meld right now, which is currently on the testnet, which should hopefully be launching their C2C platform sometime in Q2 or Q3 of this year. Jumping back in the article now, we are gearing up for the launch of V2, which will introduce new peer-to-pool mechanics to drive further adoption. But what's even more unique is that we'll leverage the power of Icon, a programming language and toolkit for smart contract development on Cardano. As I mentioned before, if you guys have not heard of Icon, they're going to be a smart contract development toolkit, which basically simplifies the process of creating smart contracts on Cardano. So let me jump back over here into this article. And I just want to quickly touch on what Icon is, and then we're going to scroll back up and then continue breaking down the adoption and the new peer to pool model. So Icon is a programming language and toolkit incubated by TX Pipe, aiming to provide a robust and efficient smart contract development experience for the Cardano blockchain. By introducing a new framework for compiling UPLC, which stands for Untyped Plutus Core, Icon delivers an alternative smart contract language compatible with Cardano smart contract virtual machine. Ultimately, it delivers modular simplicity similar to Ethereum's solidity. That was not meant to rhyme, but it did. So as we saw there, Icon will be simplifying the process of creating and managing Plutus contracts on the Cardano network. Jumping back into the article here surrounding the peer to pool and V2 launch of AADA Finance, the new version will allow users to deposit and borrow funds in dedicated pools, increasing fund liquidity and availability. Here are some first impressions of the smart contract design. So as I mentioned before, this is going to have two major um, updates or upgrades. 
The first is that there's going to be more liquidity available, given that anybody can add their liquidity to a pool. And then second, it's going to be availability. You're no longer going to have to wait for a third party on the other side to accept or deny your loan request. So when it comes to their smart contract design and specifically pool creation, anybody using the protocol will have the ability to actually create a liquidity pool. So it states the peer to pool design is one of the unique features that V2 will present to the ecosystem. It will enable anyone to create a pool by depositing a selected native token, which could be ADA or AADA, which is going to be the governance token for the AADA finance protocol. In return, the smart contract will mint two NFTs. The first will be an NFT that verifies pool ownership. So as an example here, let's say that I create a pool for the AADA finance token. I'm actually going to receive a NFT um, proving my ownership of that actual pool. Now, the second is going to be a really cool feature here. This is going to be a delegation NFT necessary to delegate the pool to a single stake pool operator or a um, stake pool operator. Now, you might be wondering why this is. So again, jumping back into my first example, if I create a uh, pool here, liquidity pool for the AADA token, as members come in and actually take out liquidity or take out loans out of my pool, they're going to be replacing what they're taking out, which is the AADA token with the ADA token as their collateral. Now, instead of keeping that collateral sitting there and not actually earning anything, the stake pool owner or the liquidity pool owner, I should say, um, will be able to take that ADA and actually delegate it to a stake pool on Cardano in order to earn anywhere between three to 4% passively. And so this is going to be very similar to what we've seen with um, liquid staking when it comes to other blockchains like Ethereum, as well as liquid staking that we've recently heard when it comes to the Indigo protocol. Again, when you open up a CDP or a collateralized debt position on Indigo, they're going to take that ADA that you put up as collateral and actually delegate that as well in order to give you another revenue income stream. So a really cool feature there. Now, before I continue any further, I just want to highlight here how many tokens are currently available for swapping when it comes to AADA finance. Again, I'm going to do a better job to um, keep you guys updated when it comes to this protocol, given their track record and just given how much they've really begun to build over the course of the last few months since their launch. So first things first, you can um, lend or borrow ADA. You can also lend or borrow AADA finances token as well as MELD, IUSD, the Indigo token, WMT, LQ, NMKR, Yumi, MinSwap, the Ape Society token, Empower, the Ray Network token, as well as Jed and Shen. So this is going to be a much broader asset class here than what we've seen with the initial launch of Liquid, which right now supports the swapping and lending and borrowing of ADA as well as jet so again we would hope to see that this list grows and increases here and just one thing to keep in mind if you are actually a holder of the aada token as they begin to roll out more governance proposals you will have the ability to either add or remove additional supported assets i think as a part of their fourth governance proposal we saw the addition of jet and shen as well as the ability to actually go ahead and use the clay token as collateral as well so jumping back in here, again, this was um, the two features here that you actually will receive or the two NFTs you will receive when creating a brand new pool. Moving down a little bit further, each pool will employ dynamic APR for deposits while creating a genuine and open pool market. And in return, borrowers will be able to do one of two things. Number one, pay fixed interest depending on the time of taking the loan. And then number two, pay different interest for the same loan or collateral position. So I think under different market circumstances, you may get the same exact APR or interest rate as somebody else. But given different, um, again, factors, you may not. Scrolling down a little bit further, interesting fact, the staking smart contract, again, this is going to be using the ICON smart contracting language, is going to be the size of four kilobytes, which is extremely small and does two validation functions. 
the pool smart contract is going to be seven kilobytes and executes 30 validation functions. The estimated improvement that Icon delivers is seven times smaller transaction. So hopefully you guys are starting to kind of connect the dots here. This is going to be a huge upgrade, not only bringing peer to pool lending, but also leveraging the um, Icon smart contracting language in order to reduce the actual size and transmission of the um, application. Now, when it comes to interest rates here, they're going to be employing a pretty interesting model here that's going to be very similar to Aave, which is going to be one of the top lending and borrowing protocols on Ethereum. So it states here, interest rates on AADA finances V2 will reuse what Aave does regarding algorithms and rates. In simple terms, interest rates will increase slowly until a utilization rate of 45% surpassing the underlying percentage, which again is 45%, will trigger a sharp increase in the projected APR as shown below. That way, the protocol will encourage borrowing when the demand is low. Meanwhile, a higher demand will produce higher interest rates, incentivizing more lenders to deposit. So this kind of works as a two-way um, street here. So as long as we have, let me just kind of blow this up here. As long as we have a low utilization, there's going to be a low APR. So it's going to incentivize people to actually borrow whatever um, liquidity is currently available. So that's going to really favor the borrowers when there's low utilization. Now, when we have high utilization, we're going to have a higher APR here which again will um, encourage members to basically go ahead and um, add their liquidity to the liquidity pools that are being utilized in order to um, earn from that as well. So regardless of whether or not there's low or high utilization, there's going to be a benefit for either party. Again, if there is low utilization, taking out a loan will be extremely cheap. If there's high utilization, providing liquidity to the protocol will be very, very um, beneficial. Now, in closing here, the introduction of V2 will impose zero dependencies on third parties, which again here is going to be that peer to pool model stepping away from peer to peer, ensuring an immutable and permissionless operation. With the power of ICON, AADA Finance will allow users to interact with the protocol smart contracts efficiently and in a trustless manner. The end goal is genuine decentralization without kill switches. Again, guys, I'm excited here to break down this article here with you guys. I hope you guys find this to be helpful. I definitely am, and I'm going to be doing a lot more due diligence when it comes to AADA Finance and keeping you guys updated to all the developments moving forward as they begin to transition into this peer-to-pool model. Now, to be clear, we have not yet heard of an actual date on which they plan to launch or release the peer to pool model, but it does sound like it is very close and that they've at least got the smart contracts in place, as well as some of the interest rate mechanisms and the NFT mechanisms that will be used to verify pool ownership, as well as the ability to delegate um, funds within those liquidity pools to stake pools in order to further decentralize Cardano, while also giving users on the platform an additional revenue stream. If you guys found this video to be helpful or beneficial in any way, shape, or form, I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content just like this surrounding AADA Finance or Cardano in general, then make sure to subscribe. And if you guys have any questions for me about anything that was talked about in this video, then make sure to leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.